Uh, what a fantastic plant we have here. Biddens pelosa, sometimes called blackjacks, uh, farmers, friends, cobblers, peg. An amazing plant, amazing plant. Now, I love doing videos that showcase the unthought of benefits of a lot of different plants and specifically things that people discard as being horrible, nasty weeds of all kinds. Now, Biddens pelosa, um, these little seeds are actually edible and I love doing this stuff, guys. Um, have a nom, you know, give it a munch. And um, you get a whole bunch of that. You get a whole bunch of that and you have a good feast on it and you can eat the flowers. Uh, now, the young sprouts on these guys, the young sprouts are particularly delicious. The young sprouts are an absolute delicacy. Love them, love them. But they're a great workout. Chewing them is such a good workout for the jaw. Another fantastic thing, and this is, this is where it takes on a great level here, is in land regeneration. So this is a nitrogen fixer. And uh, have a go at that beautiful root system, eh? Gorgeous stuff. Find me a nice clump here. You get this really nice soil happening underneath these guys. They really repair the soil great, especially after fire. Uh, so, off to the side, <clears throat> I got my little cob oven here. And this was all just nothingness last year. You can check some of my older videos. And then I throw out the, the charcoal here and I did a bit of burning. The first thing that comes up, cobbler's pegs. They repair the soil like crazy. They're really good for land regeneration. And they're one of those plants that'll come back in the first year after something has been destroyed. So they're a pioneer species in that regards. Once they've grown prolifically in an area, they tend to avoid that area afterwards. Uh, last year, they were all over this area here. This year, I don't know, maybe 10% as much as there was. They're still in that area, but there's only about 10% the amount that there were last year. It's an absolutely brilliant plant. Now, another thing, you can see this fig tree here, all these cobbler's pegs are protecting that from predation. Last year, that was completely decimated by the deers. Of course, I've also managed to build a fence, so it's hard to tell what's what going on here. However, the kangaroos have still been coming in bit by bit because the fence is not a complete fence. So that's really nice to see as well. It does also protect a lot of your other plants, like your brassicas, from having the cabbage white butterflies and the cabbage white moths land on them. So again, another fantastic uh, beneficial plant to have around. So again, you can eat the seeds. It's a nitrogen fixing plant, soil repair, land regeneration, and um, and and it you know it protects your plants from predation from the moths and the caterpillars and all that. So that's fantastic stuff. Now. It also creates this amazing little habitat under here so that little creatures like the native marsupial mouse, the uh, antichinus, can have somewhere to sprawl around and run around and not be eaten by all the uh, kookaburras and, uh, and, and uh, owls and various other things that might want to have a snack on them. So that's a great thing there too. So there you go, uh, Biddens pelosa, blackjacks, uh, cobbler's peg, farmer's friends, and of course the reason it's called farmer's friends, folks, is because the farmer happens to walk through the field and these things stick on your clothes like that and they're just hanging out with you all day like your friends do. So there's your farmer's friends. Um, that's enough from me, folks. Take care of yourselves and have yourselves a lovely day. Go plant some seeds, go live in the forest and get freaking naked and go for a swim. Doodles.